Hey guys, Metal Driver here, back with another WWE review. And today, I'll be looking at the Top Picks 2023 Roman Reigns. On the side, you get an image of Roman. Then on the back, you get another image, a brief bio, career highlights, a description of this figure, and the rest of the figures that are in this wave. Alright, so that was the box. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up and take a closer look at Roman Reigns. And here we have the head of the table, the tribal chief, out of the packaging. But before we take a look at the figure, let's look at the accessories that he comes with. He comes with the Universal Championship belt, which we have seen many times before. And I've been noticing this little chip right here on a lot of the recent Universal and WWE Championship belts. So is this only happening to me, or all the ones looking like that? He comes with two gripping hands, one that is gloved, featuring the red glove here, that is brand new for an elite Roman. And then we see the head of the table t-shirt this is not brand new we actually saw this with the top talent 2022 roman reigns figure that came out last year and in fact this figure itself is almost an exact re-release of that version the biggest difference is that he's got the red glove instead of the gold one so seeing the two figures side by side again identical with the exception of the different colored glove with that being said we can assume that the head sculpt is going to be the same as the previous top talent version and you would be correct because it is the exact same head sculpt which I don't really mind because it is a really good one the sculpting looks great it looks just like Roman paint on the eyes the eyebrows the facial hair the lips all look good hair sculpted really well slicked back so a nice looking head scan here and again the body is exactly the same as pretty much all the elite Romans that we have seen again the difference with this figure being the gauntlet colors tattoo looks really good all over the arm some nice intricate designs here painted very well tattoo looks good on the chest good paint clean line work looking really good on the back some good details all the way around so I'm always happy when we get some good paint work and in my experience the Roman Reign figures have always looked good especially on the tattoo details now I've already shown the gauntlet a couple of times, but here's a close-up of the logo right here. So really nice. Again, the selling point with this is that now you have an elite with the red gauntlet, which is actually a first. The only red gauntlet that we have so far is the Ultimate Edition Roman, which showing him right here side by side. I can really appreciate the body of the elite. I really like how that looks. I think it looks aesthetically pleasing as opposed to the way the Ultimate Edition came out. For me personally, I felt a little bit disappointed, although I can't say that that glove and gauntlet is more detailed on the Ultimate Edition, so that is something to think about if you're pondering whether or not you want the Ultimate or the Elite. Lower body is the same as we've seen with pretty much all the Elite Roman figures, at the very least the ones that have come out over the last few years, so you should not be surprised with how that looks. Got some standard boots here. And then going into the articulation, the head is on a ball joint, can't look that high up, that far down. Turn side to side and tilt pretty well. Shoulder goes that high up. It can rotate all the way around. There is a bicep swivel. He's got double jointed elbows, a swivel and hinge at the wrist. He crunches that far forward, a little bit stiff there, that far back. Waist swivel, legs go that far out, that high up. Thigh cut, double jointed knees, a swivel at the top of the boot. Ankle goes that high up, that far down, and some good ankle pivot. And here's another look of the Top Picks 2023 Red Gauntlet Roman next to the Top Talent 2022 Gold version of the Gauntlet. Here he is next to the Ultimate Edition Roman. And looking at these two next to each other, yeah, I think I like the Elite Torso better. And then in case if you're wondering, here is the lay that came with the Ultimate Roman on the new Elite Roman figure. And here's the Ultimate Gauntlet on the new Top Picks Roman Reigns. And and finally, here he is next to Jay and Jimmy Uso. So, what are my final thoughts on the new Top Picks 2023 Roman Reigns? I think it's a really solid figure. It's nice that we finally have an elite Roman with the red gauntlet. It does suck that it doesn't have the same detail as the Ultimate one, but for me, the Ultimate figure was a bit of a disappointment. I don't know, something about that figure just didn't click with me. So it's nice to have an elite one. Now, if you were to ask me which one do I think is the best, which one is better, well, that depends. If you prefer articulation and accessories, then objectively, the ultimate one would be better. However, as I stated, I do not like how that torso looks. I think aesthetically, the elite one looks better, looks more accurate as well. So if you fall along that same kind of camp that I'm in, then you might think that this one is better. But if you already have the ultimate and you're satisfied with that, then I can see you easily skipping this. If you don't have the ultimate or you're disappointed with it and you want an elite one, 
and this is the one to go with. I do think this is the best elite Roman that we have. Now we are getting another Roman with the red gauntlet and an Amazon 3 pack. I believe that head sculpt is brand new and he's got a white t-shirt so you could wait on that. The only sucky thing is that Amazon distribution is kind of terrible so who knows if you'll get that in time but if you want one now this is the one to get. If you enjoyed this video hit that like button and subscribe. If you want a chance to get a shout out in the next video leave a comment down below just like Bradley Taylor said on the Undertaker Greatest Hits review. What year do you class this from Metal Driver? Awesome review. Uh, that Taker attire, I would say, would be like late 2009, early 2010. In fact, Undertaker wore that attire against Rey Mysterio at Royal Rumble 2010. Which, by the way, if you played WWE 2K22, you can do that match in the showcase and unlock that attire. So hopefully that answered your question. Shout out to you, Bradley Taylor. Check out my social media to be up to date with all my wrestling figure photography. And I'll see you next time.